Welcome back, Adrian Denny with Grizzlies head coach and general manager, Tim Branham. And coach, if you're to talk to the common person right now, the one thing they think you're doing is recruiting, which you are, but recruiting just doesn't go June, July, August. It starts in December, and you started recruiting for, you know, the second half of the season as college and major juniors ends. But that's when you get a leg up on everybody else is getting in contact, finding out who's going to be the, the top guy, who are going to be some hot names going in to the second half of the season, into the off season for 2014-2015. Yeah, exactly. We start making phone calls early um, just so that we have a, an idea of who's out there, uh, who wants to come play pro hockey, uh, and who the best talent is so that uh, we can bring players in at the end of the season if we need to um, or uh, players for next season that we're, we're, that we're looking at. So, yeah, we've already done that, talking to college coaches and um, finding out their thoughts and because – uh, because we don't have a scouting staff going out there and seeing these players, it's more on word of mouth and, and recommendations. So uh, the more people you can talk to, the better. And yeah, uh, you know, and uh, we can't. Uh, no contracts can be turned into the league until June 16th. However, uh, it's uh, you know we're, we're constantly looking at uh, what players we want to bring in and, and staying in contact with free agents. Uh, you know, to, to let them know that uh, they are on our radar and uh, continue to touch base with them and and uh, hopefully in the end put together a good team. You've got a core group now that you can bring back, that you can work with. Last year at this time, when you came in, you were essentially starting from scratch with the team that you wanted to put on the ice. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right now it's we have that core group, like you're saying. Now it's just a matter of filling in the pieces around versus bringing everybody new in. And, and uh, you know, as a, as a staff, we've sat down and, and identified uh, where we need to get better, uh, what changes we'd like to make uh, for the for the season coming up, uh, maybe a different style of play or what have you. And and uh, but the important thing is that core group of guys that we have here, um, because that core group, yes, they want to get to the American League, yes, they want to get to the next level, um, but they're also the, the the pieces of the puzzle that when you have bring in new faces from your affiliate players, the new places or new um, new uh, players from college, that uh, they let those players know how to play. Uh, they set the standard, uh, and uh, it's, it's an easy transition for, for new players coming in. And uh, when you have that core group, that core leadership group, it makes things a lot easier, and we have that this year. When you're recruiting to Utah, I don't think it's necessarily a fact that you've got to sell the Grizzlies. You've got a great arena here. It's a great community to live in. The guys liked being around their teammates. They liked being in this environment. Is it just a matter of presenting what you have and not necessarily making a sales pitch yeah you know what i think it's more along the lines of uh for me deciding whether or not that player is a good fit i mean a lot of players want to come play here uh it's, it's a great opportunity not only for call-ups but uh for a great place to live and a great being involved in a great organization that treats you really well and uh for me it's a matter of uh now it's a matter of being picky it's uh, who i want it's not just oh you, you want to come play here sure come on in it's you know um, are you the right fit for our team uh, are you willing to get out in the community? And those are the things that we're looking for. We saw with this year's club, the young guys, the guys that were on this club, mostly college players as opposed to or more college players than, than major junior players. And, and I think over the last three or four years, we've seen more of that in the ECHL, but more specifically with last year's hockey club. Yeah, I think uh, for me personally, um, and, and this is just averages, this is percentages. I, I find that percentage-wise, uh, the college players adapt better uh, to this to this level of hockey. The major junior guys need a couple more years to develop. Um, that's on average. I mean, that's not uh, every player. That's not saying every major junior player can't play here. That's not the case at all. But, um, you know, I've, I've found that, the you know, the college players have already been on their own. You know, they, they do their own laundry. They do their own cooking. They don't get homesick. Uh, they're ready to jump in and play at this level. They're, they've got four more years under their belt of, of just weightlifting, so they're a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, which you need at this level. Um, and they're, so they're, they're, they're ready. They're ready to play. Um, and so, you know, we, we definitely focus uh, the majority of our recruiting on the college players. However, we don't shy away from the major junior players. If there's a player that can play, we bring them in. Wrapping it up, looking forward to year number two, and I think from year number one, the opponent that the fans will probably remember the most, the Idaho Steelheads, I think. Uh, you know, it's been a, the Grizzlies' former affiliate when they were in the AHL, and now entering the 10th year in the ECHL. You've seen probably Idaho 10, 12, 15 times a year for the last 9, 10 years. But I think last year it kind of felt more like a rivalry for the first time and the fact that you've got a young coach over there you've got a team that plays hard they're hungry they're a lot like utah plus you see them 15 times a year yeah no they're good they're they're brad Elf over there they're very well coached 
Uh, they've got a great team, very offensive, uh, very physical, uh, and it, you know, and, and obviously, you know, we we want to play that brand of hockey as well. So um, it, it makes for really exciting games, and obviously, both teams want to win, both coaches want to win. So uh, with, with the rivalry that we have, it's it's only healthy, it's only good for this league, it's good for the players, it's good for everybody. So uh, you know, we'll just look to continue that. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Get your tickets now at utahgrizzlies.com and make sure you're following the Grizzlies on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.